Bad Harry's Haircut by Dorothy Edwards. Quite a long time ago when I was a little girl, my naughty little sister used to play with a little boy called Harry. This boy, Harry, only lived a little way away from us. And as there were no nasty roads to cross between our houses, Harry used to come all on his own to play with my little sister and she used to go all on her own to play with him and they were very good friends and they were both very naughty children oh dear just seen this bad harry you wouldn't have said that he was a naughty child he looked so very good yes he looked very good indeed my sister never looked very good, even when she was behaving herself, but bad Harry looked good all the time. My naughty little sister's friend Harry had big, big blue eyes and pretty golden curls like a baby angel, but oh dear, he was quite naughty all the same. When my little sister went round to play with Harry, she found him looking very smart indeed. He was wearing real big boys' trousers, real ones, with real big boys' buttons and real big boys' braces. Red braces like a very big boy. Wasn't he smart? Look, said bad Harry. Look at my big boys' trousers. Smart said my naughty little sister. Smart boy. I'm going to have a real boy's haircut too, said bad Harry. Today, not mummy with scissors anymore, but a real boy's haircut in a real barber shop. My word, he was a proud boy. My little sister was so surprised that bad Harry was so pleased. she was. I'll be a big boy then, he said. Then Harry's mother, who was a kind lady and liked my little sister very much, said that if she was a good girl, she could have, she could come to the barbers and see Harry have his hair cut. My little sister was so excited that she ran straight back home at once to tell our mother all about Harry's big boy the big boy's trousers and Harry's big real boy's haircut. Can I go too? Can I go too? She asked our mother. Our mother said, Yes, you may go. Only hold very tight to Harry's mother's hand when you cross the high street. And my little sister promised that she would hold very tight indeed. So off they went to the barbers to get Harry a real boy's haircut. My little sister had never been in a barber shop before and she stared and stared. Bad Harry had never been in a barber shop before either, but he didn't stare. He pretended that he knew all about it. He picked up one of the barber's books and pretended to look at the pictures in it, but he peeped all the time at the barber shop. There were three haircut men in the barber shop. And they all had white coats and they all had black combs sticking out of their pockets. There were three white wash basins with shiny taps and looking glasses and three very funny chairs. In the three funny chairs were three men all having something done to them by the three haircut men. One man was having his hair cut with scissors. And one man was having his neck clipped with clippers. And one man had a soapy white face. And he was being shaved. And there were bottles and bottles and brushes and brushes and towels and towels. And pretty pictures with writing on them. And all sorts of things to see. My little sister looked and bad Harry peeped until it was Harry's turn to have his hair cut. 
When it was Harry's turn, one of the haircut men fetched a special high chair for Harry to sit in because the grown-up chairs were all too big. Harry sat in the special chair and then the haircut man got a big blue sheet and wrapped it around Harry and tucked it in at the neck. Ugly old hairs going down there, said the hair, the haircut man said. Then the haircut man took his sharp shiny scissors cut and cut and down fell a golden curl and gone gone said my little sister and down fell another golden curl and gone said my little sister again she said gone 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 all the time until Harry's curls had quite gone away. Then she said, all gone now. When the haircut man had finished cutting, he took a bottle with a squeezer thing and he squirted some nice smelly stuff all over Harry's head and made Harry laugh and my little sister laughed as well. Then the haircut man took the big black comb and he made a big boy's parting on Harry's head. And he combed Harry's hair back into a real boy's haircut and then bad Harry climbed down from the high chair so that my little sister could really look at him. And then my little sister did stare. Bad Harry's mother stared too. A bad boy, Harry, with his real boy's trousers and his real boy's braces, with a real boy's haircut, smiling and smiling and looking very pleased. No curls now, said bad Harry. Not any more. No curls, said my naughty little sister. Bad Harry's mother said. And oh dear, you don't even look good anymore. Then my little sister laughed and laughed. Bad Harry, she said. Bad Harry, all bad now, like me. And that was Bad Harry's haircut. Next time, my naughty little sister shows off. Until then, thanks for watching.